Hi there, Aries. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries for the week of February 27th. If this one isn't resonating, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you'd like a reading of your own, you can find my $20 readings uh, in the description box. All right, Aries. Um... I think you're in the dark or confused about something here or your person is. We have the moon here. That's Cancer and Pisces energy. The moon is sometimes things that are hidden, things that we can't see. It can be secrets. It can be lies. Um, sometimes it's like our shadow selves, our darker selves, things that we don't want to acknowledge here. Either you or your person has something that they don't really want to tell you. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords is often about like a truth or a revelation. In the reverse, again, there's something here that's hidden, something that you don't see. It could even be like someone just kind of lied to you and you asked them about something. They obscured the truth from you in some way. We've got the Two of Swords making a very challenging decision. This is Libra energy, by the way. Two of Swords... It's making a decision without having all the information. Sometimes it's about like using your brain and, you know, and not your heart and kind of uh, making a very difficult choice. We'll put it that way. And we've got the seven of cups, confusion, illusions, delusions, uh, confused about a situation, trying to find out the truth here, trying to make a decision. You may be deciding whether or not you want to deal with this person anymore or whether or not like what they told you was actually true. Um, or you've had to lie to somebody else that you're with and you didn't necessarily tell them everything. Maybe you're conflicted about something. Let's delve into your person's energy a little bit deeper and we'll see what we have. So this is the Unfolding Path Tarot. I'm going to be using the Light Seers Tarot to clarify. I've got the Four of Pentacles so far. Um, at the end, I'm also going to pull cards for how your person feels about you, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. This Four of Pentacles is really feeling like I've got, I don't want to be vulnerable. I have everything kind of locked up tight. Um... I'm unwilling to share. I'm unwilling to give you like my time or energy here. Mm. And we've got the five of cups. This is someone who is looking about the past, something that they've said or done here that they regret. They wish they could take back. Um, this is sort of like second guessing your own decisions. It's regrets about what you did, wishing you had taken a different path or made a different choice here. All right. Ooh, I love that version of the card. This is the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Uh, she's very much like the maiden, the mother, the crone. This is crone energy. Um, you can see she's holding a pomegranate. Some people think um, that the in the Bible, it wasn't originally an apple. It was a pomegranate. If you think about the story of like Hades and Persephone, it's like knowledge. Um the forbidden here. There's something that they haven't told you, basically. Maybe your intuition is speaking to you. Maybe their own intuition is firing here. This person could be a Pisces. Hmm. I'm kind of in love with this deck. It's just gorgeous. That's too many. 
what is going on with this person here? All right. We've got the Ten of Wands here, and then we have the Seven of Swords. So that Ten of Wands is feeling like weighed down, like you have this burden that you're carrying. Literally, it's like she's got this big bag of wands. She's hauling them up the stairs. I would say that this person probably has a guilty conscience. Um, there's something here that they don't want to tell you, but they sort of do. That Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing, sneaky, being shady. Can also just mean like having an agenda. It's also important to know like the swords are about communication. So it could have been something this person said or didn't say. So what the heck is this person keeping from you? The devil is Capricorn energy. It can be um, toxic behavior. This could be a karmic relationship that you have with this person. They may feel tied and bound to you. They may feel stuck. This is kind of like the sex, drugs, and rock and roll card, or like I have a gambling problem, or I have an online, um, you know, addiction to to something like you know porn or. Someone who's engaging in self-limiting and self-sabotage behaviors. It could also be someone who feels extremely possessive of you, especially given that four pentacles and the devil here. This person could simply be a Capricorn as well. We've got the four of wands here, and then we have the judgment card in reverse. Libra energy for me as a reader. Some people see the judgment card as Scorpio. In the reverse, it's like I have this decision to make, but I'm delaying it. It's like they want to fix this, but they don't want to do what's necessary to do that. Four of Wands is feeling like someone is your home. It's wanting to take things to the next level. This person may have lied about a commitment or wanting a commitment with you. And keep in mind, this is a reading for the collective. So they may have lied and told you that they wanted a commitment and they didn't actually. They may have lied to you and told you that they didn't want one, but they can actually see themselves doing that with you. Let's pull maybe a couple more here. Okay. Got the Three of Cups. That's a reconciliation card. It's wanting a reason to celebrate. It's a dating and a friendship card. This could have even been like someone who told you that they just wanted... Like a friends with ben oh, a friends with benefit situation, and now they've cut feelings for you. Um, bottom lining it here, there's something that this person needs to tell you, and it's only a matter of time. That judgment card in the reverse, they're avoiding making this decision. They're avoiding doing something about it. But they're going to have to here. I think they're uncomfortable. Six of Cups is something of a soul tie or a soul mate. It's having a long-standing connection with someone, perhaps even having kids with somebody. Um, again, like a higher level of commitment here with this Four of Wands. I think this person wants to talk about this relationship or this... Um, the possibilities here. They maybe want to have the talk with you. I almost get the sense like they told you they didn't want anything serious and then it is sort of serious now and now they're kind of like, well, crap. I kind of put my foot in my mouth. They may also have some issues where they just feel I don't, like you would say no or maybe they've gone through a rejection before. And again, this is a reading for the collective, so adjust this, uh, adjust this to your situation. All right. Let's do feelings as well as what this person is thinking or needs to say. So how does this person currently feel about you? Hmm. Queen of Wands, that's you. That's Aries specifically. They see you as attractive. Um, they see you as maybe having other possibilities. Queen of Wands is not shy, not a uh, shrinking violet at all, someone who has options, someone who's very attractive and um, creative, pursues what he or she wants. 
I don't associate a gender with that card. You can see like her dress is a peacock. She's someone who knows her worth. She knows her value. She's confident. And what is something that they're thinking or that they need to say here? You speak to me through music. I don't know what to say. I do think that's true. This person is searching for the right words. We will be together again. They're wanting a reconciliation. For some of you, like this relationship, you've called it quits. Maybe you had to make a very difficult judgment about that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for me. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. And if you'd like your own reading, you can find all that info in the description box. All right, blessed be.